How's it going? This is Chris over at 3D Palace. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry this is a very low frame rate tutorial. Um, I unfortunately, because I'm recording Arnold doing complicated things, I have no choice. This is why you don't see very many tutorials using Arnold. It's because it really does murder the hell out of your system. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you something pretty darn cool. So what I have here is, if I just uh, rotate it successfully, I have a mech, okay, this is a great big night robot from Warhammer 40k, it's one of my video tutorials you can find, you can purchase it through 3D Palace, Udemy and various other places. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to make myself a camera, because if you're wanting to put detail onto a model without having to unwrap it, you know, and you've made yourself a nice base texture, there's some really quick and easy ways of doing this. So if I make a free camera, and I'll just click auto grid and just click there. Right, there we go, there's my camera now, and I am going to change it from view to local. And just adjust the rotation a little bit. And then I am going to just pull this out, so I need my move tool. And again, I'm going to change this to local, my world space coordinates. And pull it straight out. Okay, that looks good. And just check the angle that it's projecting at, because we're going to see it there. And then if I go over here to where it says free camera, I just want to quickly go over all of this, make sure the fob's okay and all that good stuff. Right, that seems fine. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to make a projection. So if I go to Pro, I think it's Proj, oh it's Cam. There we are, Cam Projection. Just drag that out. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a layer. So if I go to Layer Shader, or Layer RGBA actually would be better, and just pop that there and if you look we've got all the things that you expect from Photoshop which is really cool and my recording still working so that's very good news so if I was to stuff this into my input one and then stuff input one into my base color map nothing changes so that's good and then if I was to get the camera projection here okay and you may notice I just double click on it here we've got a few things but one of them is camera so I will just click on where it says camera and click that okay so now camera obviously is in there and now where it says projection color okay instead I am going to have an image so if I go images from maps and Arnold drop that into there and just go to projection color and then what I can do is just put that straight into input 2. Oh, invalid image file, no file name. I'm well aware there's no file name. Arnold gets very cross when I do that. Just check I'm still recording. And I am marvellous. Okay, materials library. And I am looking for, I think I called them like decals or something. Is it brush pack? No. Transfers, that's it. Transfers. Okay, and this beautiful star, which I made for the Chinese tutorial I've just been working on. It's pretty cool, so I'll just put that in there. And now it'll render it. Again, I'm just checking my things. Okay, and now if I go over to here, and I should be able to do kind of an add. Let's have a look. There it is there. It's uh, not quite right yet, but that's okay. We can fix that. I always get this bit wrong, unfortunately, so I always have to fiddle around with it, which is a little bit aggravating. So rather than, is it a top or is it overwrite? Overwrite, there we go. Now at the minute you can see it's a little bit off, so if I change my aspect ratio to one, okay, and then the last thing I need to do, if I just look at this, is color space, that's all right. Filters, okay. UV set doesn't need one. Yeah, that all looks completely fine to me. Okay, so if I just move this down a little bit, what I can do is I can just adjust my camera, like so. And as you see, my decal is projected directly onto my model. Isn't that fantastic? That's technology for you. 
Hope you feel properly appreciative of Arnold. And if I just zoom in, you can see that it's maintained all the little patchy bits in it that I wanted and things like that. So it's got that kind of worn paint that I built in specifically. Good times. Right, so I hope you found that useful and helpful. Um, that's another thing that, frankly, you're going to have a hard job finding tutorials on because it's all for Maya. Until now, because 3D Palace rocks. So you know where to go for your tutorials, don't you? And until then, this has been Chris over www.3dpalace.com. Talk to you later on, buddies.